my friends today we're talking about something that is probably going to disappoint a lot of people uh or maybe it's going to fill people with a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of hope for the future we're going to talk about the future of star wars the old republic the big star wars mmo and what is in store for the future of this game so if you haven't heard the recent news, Bioware is actually going to stop development of Star Wars The Old Republic. Now, before you freak out and before you say, oh man, the game is dead now, hold on a second. Bioware is stopping development of SWOTOR because they're going to transfer the development of this game to a company called Broadsword. Now, if you don't know who Broadsword is, they are the company that maintains the two games Ultima Online and Dark Age of Camelot. But before you guys ask, yes, Broadsword is going to manage the development of SWOTOR going forward, but the game's overall management, not the content creation, but the overall management of the game is still gonna be overseen by EA. Yes, EA, Electronic Arts, everybody's favorite gaming company. As you can imagine, this announcement has come with a, a very mixed response from the SWOTOR player base, as well as people who may be interested in playing Star Wars The Old Republic in the future. Let's just put some numbers on the table here. Ultima Online is a popular MMO, especially when it first came out, but right now it's probably averaging only about 4,000 players a day, and Dark Age of Camelot is an MMO that's averaging about 3,000 if my Google Foo is good enough and I got these numbers accurately. So nowadays, these are pretty small MMOs, but they are still getting updates to my understanding and from what I have heard and been told and what I saw while Googling around. So it's not like SWOTOR's development is just completely dead in the water, like we're never gonna see a new expansion or anything. In fact, BioWare's general manager, Greg McKay, has assured the player base that the development of SWOTOR will continue and that this move is not going to cancel any already being worked on plans and features for the game. A direct quote, he said that players, quote, will continue to enjoy the SWOTOR that they know and that they love. Star Wars The Old Republic doesn't get expansions all too often compared to games like Elder Scrolls Online, for example, but the expansions that SWOTOR does get is always rich with a lot of storytelling, people are big fans of the characters, people love Star Wars The Old Republic, and so again, there's questions to be said about whether or not Broadsword can pull off the storytelling that Bioware is so well known for. But apparently we're going to get more stories. Apparently we're going to get more stuff. Otherwise, this guy, Mr. McKay, is a big liar. But yes, we'll see. Nonetheless, though, players are really divided about this new announcement. I actually ran a poll over on Twitter asking people what they thought about this change of, well, development management from Bioware to Broadsword. And I was actually surprised to find that the answers or the results of that poll were pretty well balanced. It was almost split perfectly, 25% for each option that I gave. Some people are very optimistic and they think this is a great change because right now, Bioware, I mean, they really haven't been pumping out all that much when it comes to Star Wars The Old Republic and there are bugs and problems with the game that still need to be fixed that players have been asking Bioware to fix for I don't even know how long. When I was playing Star Wars The Old Republic actively and I was leveling up my recent Sith Warrior, I was seeing it in the general chats, in my Twitch chat, Tons of people saying that, hey, this game is great, but it does not get the love and attention that it deserves from the company who manages it. So some people are praising this idea, this idea that Bioware is surrendering the reins of the development and giving it to another company who possibly is going to be more competent and is going to care more about the community and their feedback. However, there is, of course, also the uh, less optimistic side of things where a lot of people are assuming that SWOTOR is pretty much dead now. This company, Broadsword, they're not really a game development company. They're more of like a game maintenance company in that they're going to maintain Star Wars The Old Republic. They're going to keep the servers running and stuff. But in regards to big expansions and, you know, big hopes and dreams that SWOTOR is going to release some sort of new patch expansion or feature in the future that's going to bring back thousands of players to the game, those dreams have been completely crushed by this. For all intents and purposes, people are saying that SWOTOR has now officially died as an MMO. 
or if it hasn't died, it is on its last leg, definitely. It also hasn't helped that this decision of transferring the development of SWOTOR to Broadsword has also brought with it layoffs behind the scenes. So a lot of the people who have worked on Star Wars The Old Republic, or maybe I shouldn't say a lot, we don't know the exact number, I guess several or a good number of people who worked on Star Wars The Old Republic, they've been laid off. They're not needed anymore, and they're going to go find new jobs at EA, like, you know, in other parts of the company for other games. So where does this leave Star Wars The Old Republic in regards to whether it's going to be a, you know, like revived by Broadsword and their creativity, or if it's just going to be sitting in maintenance mode with no real content going forward? I mean, what what is the future of SWOTOR? It's anybody's guess. Now, for this last little segment of the video, I wanted to spend a moment just sharing my own opinions on this as somebody who has recently been playing SWOTOR, who has leveled up a character to max, who does enjoy playing this game every now and then in the background with my friends, and I just want to share a few thoughts of my own personal opinions. I'm a very big optimist when it comes to games. I very much am. I mean, I've been playing World of Warcraft for huh, 18 years, despite all the craziness and the controversies that have surrounded Blizzard Entertainment. And I love MMORPGs. It's my favorite genre of video game. It's why this entire YouTube channel is dedicated to me covering and talking about MMORPGs. But the truth of the matter, as much as I hate to say it, is the fact that I don't really, in my opinion, as a sort of more casual SWOTOR player, I don't really see Broadsword being the company that is going to revive Star Wars The Old Republic, bring it into a new light. And when people say that SWOTOR is pretty much dead at this point, when they say, yeah, this is probably it, the game is pretty much going into maintenance mode, I kind of agree with this, especially considering the fact that Broadsword themselves, not from what I've seen anyway, they themselves have not put out any sort of statement saying, hey guys, don't worry, we're working on this expansion right now, and then we're going to be working on this patch, and these new changes to PvP or whatever, we haven't really gotten any of that. We've just gotten a SWOTOR developer saying, hey guys, don't worry, all right, content is still going to come, trust us. Is that actually the case? Do we actually have a lot of content to look forward to with SWOTOR? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I would love it if Broadsword, though, just said, you know what? Hey, we're getting this game. We're getting this game SWOTOR, and it has a lot of potential. It is the Star Wars MMO right now. People love Star Wars. Like, you, you can't go wrong with Star Wars. I mean, goodness gracious. They could spend their time really fixing and breathing new life into Star Wars The Old Republic, fixing issues in the endgame fixing the bugs that pollute this game, fixing frame rate issues and small things like that, optimization problems. They could create a new UI. They could do, there's a lot of stuff that they could do behind the scenes for Star Wars The Old Republic to bring new players into the game, people like me. Star Wars is such a massive universe with so much stuff that you could potentially put and insert into an MMO. From new ways to explore the force as a force using character, to new ways to customize and create weapons and armor if you're a non-force user to protect yourself from you know the force force lightning force pushes whatever it might be the force in and of itself and the technological aspect of star wars the old republic creates a huge opportunity for content creation dude man why can't we make our own droid for example in star wars the old republic this would be so cool being able to construct a droid and having like our own custom made droid companion following us around, how cool would that be, right? A custom made HK-47 or something with its own paint job that we decided on. At how, it actually surprises me that SWOTOR does not do better in the current market, especially with just how much people love Star Wars. Yeah, Disney kind of has dropped the ball a lot when it comes to Star Wars in many ways, but people still love the universe and they love the Old Republic universe. And maybe it's possible that maybe Broadsword could create a way for maybe, you know, SWOTOR to get away from that sort of single player MMO stereotype that it, you know, so unfortunately has. Maybe offering that option to people if they want to engage in a really story driven MMO or maybe creating a way where people don't have to engage in that. And they can just play the game like a traditional MMO experience. You just open up the, the quest and it's just a little big thing of text. You don't have to listen to a bunch of voice acting. I don't know. I played through Star Wars The Old Republic recently as that Sith warrior, and I had a great time playing it. I had an awesome time in the dungeons, with the community, in the battlegrounds, with my guild, Barks Root Beer. It was awesome. 
And when it comes to MMOs in general, whether it's WoW or ESO or Star Wars The Old Republic, I want there to always be a successful, well-maintained and well-driven team that is pushing a high quality MMO product for that gamer who wants to dive into whatever particular universe they decide. I want the Star Wars fan to be able to play a Star Wars MMO that's badass. The Warcraft fan to be able to play the World of Warcraft MMO and it is badass. The Elder Scrolls fan to be like, man, I want to play Elder Scrolls Online and it's badass. And I hope, it is my prayer, that Broadsword Online picks up the mantle and makes some dramatic changes and does things that is going to take us all by surprise. And you better believe that here on Nixium, I'm going to be watching them very closely and we're going to be documenting the entire journey and we're going to see what Broadsword Online does with this beloved MMO. Guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Big shout out to our members here on the YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys with my next Star Wars video.